Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with looking at a bike. Will it stop at the red light? Of course it won't. Now I know over there it's going to go through a no entry, but the no entry is just for cars, just like red lights are. Just for cars. Now in this clip we're looking at Mr. Cool on the bike. Hands in pockets, headphones on, oh he looks so cool as he casually goes through the red light. In this clip I'm about to stop at a red light again. Guess who doesn't? Now this is all happening on one day, okay? I'm not picking on cyclists, I'm not picking out the best ones and all that. This is all on one day going to a certain place. And like most of my videos, if you look at the time, it just runs in time sequence, i.e. from one idiot to the next idiot. It doesn't matter whether they're on a bike or in a car. So this is another bike, but it's got an engine on it. It's right in front of us, just slightly to the right hand side there. I'll point him out in a second. There he is. Now he's going for a red light. I had to double check this to make sure, so I'll go to the rear camera. And there's no traffic lights on that side, so he's got nothing to see. I've got nothing to gauge it on. Until we come further round. And I can see that where he's come out of, the pedestrians have got a green man, which would never, he would never have a green light at the same time. Where is he? I mean, that can't be a fucking green light that he's gone through. Now in this clip, I was looking at the Audi there parked in the, in the, in the roadworks, the barefaced cheek of it to park in the middle of the roadworks until I looked over to the right hand side and see another cyclist go for a red light. Now in this clip you see that car up there in front on the right hand side reversing out of the driveway there. It doesn't have to do that. The way out is there. It's just far too important to drive around the block. It's got to reverse out and keep everyone waiting for it because it's special so a little bit further down the road I get caught at another red light now it's all lights are red at the moment so where that cyclist is going I do not know it's pedestrian time it's all green lights for pedestrians it's a red light for him too So, a little bit further down the road, I come to another red light. Now, there's two cyclists there to the right-hand side. Both of them couldn't have green lights at the same time. So, one of them has gone for a red light, that's for sure. And the regulars in the channel will know that I'm not in my normal patch. As I'm going into central London now. So, we speed it up now. And we'll show you the next numpties, obviously, when we come to another red light. Look at this one. He actually stops until he sees that one go through, and then he follows him. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few pedestrians crossing this road at the moment from all different angles and all different ways and places where they shouldn't be, some of them. But that doesn't matter to a cyclist. They're more important. Straight through as everyone's crossing. So I'll speed it up now, just until we get to the next numpty. It don't take long. We're still looking for a bike, by the way, coming up on the left. There he is. No hesitation, that one, straight through. Now, some of you will start recognising places in a minute 
as we go into central London. There is an extended version of this video coming out shortly where I use a different camera, a camera that I will be giving away when we do a little bit of a tour of the places we go past. So look out for that one because you can win a decent camera. It's a really nice camera. So some of you may have heard of Marble Arch. This is where we're coming into now. As you can see, there's a cyclist going through a red light there. Doesn't stop just because we're in the tourist part. The cyclists still do it. We'll speed it up. And then there's another one. So now we're in Piccadilly. And the red light jumpers just keep coming. Pedestrians crossing all over the place. Doesn't matter. Not to cyclist. There we go. So we've got another one that's a roundabout over there. There he is. On the wrong side of the road. Just gone through that red light. And he's about to go through that one there. They've got the bike behind him that's going through the red light. That's already gone through a red light to get there. And now we're looking at the cars and the lorries and everything that's coming from the right hand side. Because they jump lights too. Now that bike's gone through a red light, but so has that lorry. How late do you want to be? With all that advertising on the lorry as well, your company's name written all over it. Not a wise decision. So, as you can see, I've got a green light, which means that cyclist over there to my left-hand side will have a red. But he's too busy on his phone to realise that. So we'll stay with this idiot for a little while. We're coming up to another red light just up here with loads of pedestrians that are going to cross. What's he going to do now? Of course, he's just going to go straight through the red light. Now, some of you might recognise that big clock there in front of me and realise exactly where I am. But I think that big clock is running a little bit fast, according to my dash cam camera. Probably a few seconds. But anyway, we're looking at cyclists again. Yep, come to London, see the sights. Cyclists going through red lights constantly. We're looking at the guy to the right. Now he's in a bike lane there, or he was in a bike lane there, but comes out of it to go across a red light. we still got one more. There he comes. Now going halfway through a red light is still going through a red light. So now we're looking over to the left hand side, just where that bus is turning. We'll see a car come around there in a minute, but going by our change of lights, I'd say he's pretty late on the lights as well. So now we've got bikes coming from every fucking angle possible. There's bike lanes all over the place and yet they don't use them. I know they don't have to use them, but they do have to stop at red lights apparently. So we'll speed this up a little bit, just so some of you guys, the tourist guys, can see a few more things down here. And don't forget about the extended version of this where it's uncut and we'll just show you the more sights as we go along. And I'll put the camera in a different place so you can see a little bit more of this. I'll put it lower down. So over to the left hand side we've got the London Eye. And we've also got a cyclist going through a red light just in case you're interested in that as well. And some geese are up there on, on a chariot with horses. Obviously, I'm not going to show you too much of the sights because that will be in another video. So we're on the other side of the river now, moving away from Parliament, but we still got the same problem with these cyclists just doing what they want.
Now in this clip here, we're looking at a cyclist coming out of that road there. Look how she looks to the right. Nothing, not a sausage. Anything could have been coming down there. How do these people get to the age that they are? And as you'll see up there, there's a red light. There she goes. Turns right on a red light. Now bear in mind, everything has got a red light at the moment. It's pedestrian time again. So where the hell did he come from? Yeah, he's gone for a red light as well. He was over there at the start of the clip. But look, we have got one that's stopped there. Stopped at that red light. And another one that stopped. But you got another one that's gone through. Not unless there's a filter light on there, which I very much doubt. So we speed it up and yet again, it's to another cyclist. So we've got one coming out of the turning on the left hand side, which I'm assuming is green light because we got a red. But what about the cyclist behind him? He must still have a red light because no one else is moving going in either direction. So he's jumped the lights. Now, can someone please tell me why this cyclist will not use the bike lane there? You can't park in there, so there's not going to be parked cars. They've taken away a bus lane. You can see the markings of a bus lane there. They've taken away a bus lane to give cyclists their own protective lane, and they don't use it. This is tooting, by the way. It's normally as busy as hell around here. That must really help with congestion. And then they don't use it. I don't get it. I really don't get it with some of these cyclists. And as we go further up here, you'll see the very same cyclist now is riding on the pavement. So anything other than riding in your cycle lane, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And just to round it off, to make you cyclists feel a little bit better, we have a car that goes for a red light, just for you guys. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.